and welcome to earth how are you oh, hi nice to meet you sorry to cut you off but we have a lot to get into okay so you are a part of the lgbtq plus community so you will be discriminated against everywhere you go people are gonna love to throw their beliefs and their opinions in your face and they're probably gonna tell you that you're going to hell or you're gonna die very soon because what you are is an abomination be very prepared for people to ban you from stores discriminate against you in public spit in your face and possibly kill you and take your organs I hope that you have a loving and accepting family because nine times out of ten the people who come out to their parents normally get cut off thrown out the house sent to concentration camps or exercised because their parents think that they're full of demons be very prepared for people to say that who you are is a choice now we understand that when you get older you're probably going to want to have kids and get married to the same sex but just remember it's going to be incredibly hard for you to adopt oh and if you're transgendered good luck getting into the military because our president hates you despite all of that you have a wonderful community and family waiting for you so this is for the people who are like he's gay but he's wearing a cross have y'all read the bible no like i'm not tripping like have y'all read the bible like have y'all actually read the scriptures like hey babe what? Did you know that you're the only one that I've ever dated? Really? Yeah, the rest have been nines and tens. <laughs> Ouch. I just got called the F slur on the street by a homeless man. And I'm not saying I like the slur. I'm not saying that. I'm just... <laughs> just saying I like the attention. So my dad heard the grinder notification sound when I got a grinder message on my phone. He looks at me and says, that sound is so familiar. I think I hear that on my best friend's phone all the time. And I'm just like, your straight best friend, do you hear that noise on his phone? I did not have the heart to tell him, but I'm like, girl. Put a finger down, you're hanging out with your boyfriend edition. Put a finger down if you've had sex already. Put a finger down if you're going to do it later. I'll kiss you on your forehead. Who you talking? Who you getting loud with? Who you disrespect? I'll kiss you on your forehead. You better stop playing with me. Hey, when we get home, I'm going to kiss you on your forehead. Good, 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 good. I'm going to my kid, my bitch. I'm a mother. No drama. My gays, girls, queers, and bays, let's go for a walk, shall we? <laughs> you did not get up today just to be average and basic. You are a body and beautiful inside out. <laughs> Don't let your fears hold you back. Let go of that negative self-talk and let the love flow from within you. Reach for the stars and shine brighter because even the sky is not the limit. <laughs> love you, baby. Oh. Well, we met on Instagram, and the, the rest, rest is history. Is history. <laughs> mm. You have a cold heart and cold feet. Oh, you can, you can be straight. Just don't rub it in our faces, you know? It's not that we don't respect. Back to you. No, 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 no. It's more like we just don't really agree with the lifestyle choice. Yeah, whatever happens behind closed doors is fine. Just don't bring it out in the open. Think of the children. Can you imagine what seeing a straight couple would do to them? Oh Can't you imagine. Oh my life. God, Scott the life. Call me by your name and I'll call you by mine. Alright guys, Matt is about to meet my mom after dating for 8 months. We're picking up from the airport now. Let's see how this goes. I'm excited. Hi, how are you? Matt, mom, mom, Matt. Oh my god. What is this? I'm very proud of you. Thank 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 you. Oh, so I can't believe you're in Mexico with us. It's gonna be so fun. I'm 
truly do not understand why some straight people are so terrified of gay people. Now, obviously, I can only speak to my own experience as a straight woman, but I have many outwardly female LGBTQ plus friends. And I can say that no one else's words have ever made me feel more gorgeous in my whole life. And you know what? They say it because they mean it, because they understand boundaries, and they've had to be hyper aware of not making anyone feel super duper uncomfortable because we have this awful stigma towards LGBTQ plus individuals being predators. So when my friend looked at me in college and went, Leah, you are glowing. Girl, you look hot. I have never been so thrilled in my entire life because she had high standards and I met them. But yeah, anyway, I do it for the girls and the gays and the gay girls. Anyone has any girls that they would like to set me up with, I'm very much so over the male race and I would enjoy to have a girlfriend again. <laughs> so you think I'm straight. Best things about being bisexual. The best thing is that Oh yeah, is that we can spell our sexuality with two letters. I'm hurting and since no one in my life actually cares I thought I'd vent here. Dating in the gay community is ridiculous. It's infuriating to hear straight people complain about dating. Of course there are things to complain about, but at the end of the day you have it easier. There's so many issues with dating in the gay community, like young gay boys losing their innocence. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with age gaps. But the inappropriate age gaps between older men preying on underage boys is completely wrong, but unfortunately it's common. It's so common because young gay boys are looking for those experiences that come naturally to straight people. They have a desire to get that love whatever way they can, even if it entails a regretful future. It's because we lack romantic experiences at a young age that the gay community is just so sexually driven. Personally, I'm tired of being emotionally manipulated and gaslit. Guys will go out of the way to make me feel special and worthy and that they want to date me, but at the end of the day, they just want my body. I know I should never give up, but with each experience I have, I am left with that much more emotional turmoil. It's exhausting and deteriorating at any hope I have at a love life. Check in on your LGBTQ plus friends. Fun fact. If you are racist, sexist, classist, ableist, anti-Semitic, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, I have zero respect for you, and you deserve none. I'm glad you brung it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, I find it extremely sexy when people tell me that I'm choosing to be gay. Because it makes so much sense, you know, it does. Because I woke up one morning, this is how it went, I woke up one morning and I decided on top of being an African American woman, <laughs> I said let's throw some lesbianism in there, really make my life simple. If you say that you're bisexual but have only ever been with boys, that's okay. If you've only ever been with girls, that's okay. If you've never been with anyone, you're still valid. If you're in a relationship with a boy, still bisexual. If you're in a relationship with a girl, you can still be bisexual. If you have a preference, if you prefer boys over girls, if you prefer girls over boys, that's okay and you're still valid. Don't let other people question your sexuality based on their own idea of what that should be. You are valid and I accept you and I love you. <laughs> it's the fact that people found a problem with me saying you can't be homophobic. And I'm just getting really frustrated because I was like, Why do y'all hate gay people so bad? As always, you look <laughs> ravishing. Oh my god. Oh, you know, this isn't your show. Yes, are you is. sure? I you wait till sure. ratchet, you little <laughs> attention whore. Get oh. out of here. Hi. Hello. Hi. You're so good on this show, Darren. Thank you. Sarah. Anyway, nice when we were you. working together, what I felt was <laughs> Do you wanna I do you wanna play the part of Holland Taylor? I in do this interview? Holland Taylor. Just kidding. <laughs> Bye. You are sadly mistaken. Um do you have eyes and ears? Do I look? Do I act? No.